A rope is passing through a capstan on a dock that is attached to a boat offshore. I had to actually Google what a capstan is. It's just a device that pulls in rope. Uh, the rope is pulled in at a constant rate of 4 feet per second. The capstan is 5 feet vertically above the water. How fast is the boat traveling when it is 8 feet from the dock? So it's often the case that a picture is really going to help us out here. Fortunately, I have some really killer artistic abilities. So here's some water and a dock. And here is our boat. And here is our capstan, which is 5 feet above the water. And that capstan is pulling on some rope. And we are given a rate in this problem. We're given that the rope is pulled in at a constant rate of 4 feet per second. What that means is, is that the variable z is being reduced at a rate of 4 feet per second. In terms of derivatives, that means that dz dt is negative 4. We're asked how fast the boat is traveling when it is 8 feet from the dock. So how fast the boat is traveling can be measured by how fast this distance from the dock changes. In terms of derivatives, that means that we need to find dx dt. So if we're going to relate dz dt and dx dt, we first need to relate x and z. We can relate the variables x and z if we notice that there is a right triangle formed with the two shorter sides being x and 5 and the hypotenuse being z. That means that x squared plus 5 squared equals z squared. Then with all of these related rates problems, we're going to differentiate with respect to t. This is an implicit derivative, or we can think of it as a chain rule. If we're going to differentiate x squared, we just start by writing down 2x, but then x itself is some function of t. x is changing with time. So the chain rule says that we need to multiply this result by the derivative of x with respect to t, and that now is the derivative of our first term. The derivative of 5 squared, which is just 25, is just 0, and the derivative of z squared is very similar to the derivative of x squared. Now we have a formula that relates dx dt and dz dt, which is what we were looking for. What I think I'll do is get dx dt by itself, just algebraically. We're going to divide both sides by 2x. Those 2s are going to cancel from either side of the equation, and we're going to end up with a z over x. I'm going to zoom out and make just a little bit of room, and we're going to do our final step here. We're going to plug in the given values. dx dt is what we're looking for. We knew earlier that dz dt was negative 4. We're told that the boat is 8 feet from the dock, and I think what that means is that the horizontal distance x is 8. So we can put that up in our list of given values, but I'm going to plug x equals 8 in down here. And the only question we have left is what is our value of z at this instant that we're trying to find dx dt? In other words, we're asking the question, what what is z when x equals 8? We can figure that out by just using this formula that we came up with earlier in the problem. Substituting in x equals 8 gives us this. Adding 8 squared plus 5 squared gives us 89. And taking a square root gives us that our z value is the square root of 89 feet. So I'm going to plug that result in down here for our z. And plugging this result into our calculator, that gives us an answer of approximately negative 4.72. That would be feet per second. And since that is the rate of change of our variable x, that means that this x is decreasing at a rate of 4.72 feet per second. That means that the boat is getting closer to the dock with a speed of 4.72 feet per second. Okay, I'm going to pop up a playlist that has a whole bunch of related rate videos uh, that I made a previous semester. I hope that this video helps you out and I hope that this playlist helps you out. And the next problem of the day will be starting the next chapter. So I'll see you there.